Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum I am Professor Dr. Mahmoud Abaykum Professor and Head Anatomy Department Addi Nomans Medical College Mokbaja, Dhaka My dear student I hope May Allah bless you And save And your family also Today I would like to discuss on posterior thoracic wall. Actually my focus on the structure which are present on the posterior thoracic wall like ajaigo system of vein, descending thoracic aorta, thoracic duct, esophagus. So first we focus on the thoracic wall. This is posterior thoracic wall. This is the anterior and this is the posterior. The body structure on the posterior thoracic wall include thoracic vertebra, 12 thoracic vertebra on both sides, posterior part of ribs. And in between, there is the intercostal space. This figure sh shows the thoracic case and this is the posterior thoracic wall. And this figure, when we remove the ribs and also the vertebra, the structure showing clearly, these are the blue color, these are the zygous system of the vein, and red is the descending thoracic aorta, and this is the muscular organ, this is the esophagus, this is the esophagus, and there is all another structure there present, thoracic duct. And in between the intercostal space, there present the interval neurovascular structure, uh, blue color is the intercostal vein, red color intercostal artery and uh, yellow color is the intercostal nerve. So these uh, are posterior thoracic wall. Now this figure also na, so clear, this is the azygous system. This is the thoracic vertebra, descending thoracic aorta, esophagus, and also intercostal space contain the neurovascular. This is the vein, intercostal vein, intercostal artery, intercostal nerve. And the another structure, it is a uh, green, this is the thoracic duct, the thoracic duct. The lateral aspect of the posterior thoracic wall. These are the vein, aorta, this is the esophagus and the thoracic, this is the previously you know there is uh, vertebral gutter, that is the vertebra and posterior part of the ribs, they contain a group, this group, they are present a group, contain the sympathetic chain, sympathetic chain. This is the sympathetic chain of the sympathetic trunk. Now, we, the, we, what are the structure we discuss in the posterior thoracic wall? Like the zygous system of the vein, thoracic duct, descending thoracic aorta and esophagus. Though these are the azygous system. First, we discuss on the azygous system. Azygous system of vein. For description of azygous system of vein, these topics like formation, course, connection, tributaries, development, clinical correlation should be touched. Azygous system of vein, eh? what do you mean the azygous? Azygous is a term that means 
without a companion that this system have no corresponding artery and this is the venous channel of anastomosis and this system connect back of the inferior vena cava with the back of the superior vena cava what are the components azygous hemazygous accessory hemazygous vein and position of this system they are located on the front of the thoracic vertebral column and they play a significant role in the venous drainage of thorax this is the figure this is a figure of the azygous system this is the azygous vein this is the azygous vein and this is the hemiazygous vein and this is the accessory hemiazygous vein the system of the azygous vein azygous system if uh, question on the right side azygous system which part is present only the azygous vein on the left side, they represent the hemiazygous and accessory hemiazygous. Hemiazygous is also known as the inferior hemiazygous and accessory hemiazygous also known as the superior hemiazygous. Now the azygous vein. Formation is variable. It common, it is formed union of the right subcostal vein and right ascending lumbar vein right subcostal vein and right ascending lumbar vein level is the 12th thoracic vertebra it is common formation and, and it is also formed from the posterior aspect of the inferior vena cava at the level of the renal vein that is corresponding bony level is lumbar 2 and occasionally it might origin from the from the right renal vein or right ascending lumbar vein so most common form of formative uh, uh, veins is right lumbar right uh, ascending lumbar vein and right subcostal vein and bony level is 12 thoracic vertebra this is right lumbar vein and right subcostal vein this is the right lumbar vein right ascending lumbar vein and right subcostal vein from the azygous vein azygous vein this is the inferior vena cava this is the right renal vein and it may be comes from the right renal vein or only the right ascending lumbar vein but it is the union of the right subcostal vein right subcostal vein so, uh, and right ascending lumbar vein to form the azygous vein to form the azygous vein to form the azygous vein the azygous vein if the uh, presents only on the right side the posterior thoracic wall posterior thoracic wall only on the right side on the posterior thoracic wall and this is the posterior mediastinum. So this region is the posterior mediastinum. Course of the azygous vein. First is the posterior mediastinum form in the abdomen then after formation it, has, it uh, ascends up and enter the abdomen uh, through form the abdomen enter the thorax by, by passing a uh, for opening present in the diaphragm known as the aortic opening so through the output aortic opening the zygous vein enter the thorax from abdomen and it all uh, it presents on the right side of the body of the lower eight thoracic vertebra that is thoracic 12 to thoracic fifth and it present on the right side of the ascending thor uh, descending thoracic outer Azygous vein and aorta always separated from each other by the thoracic duct or kistakyle in the lower part. And it also lies on behind right border of the esophagus and hilum of the right root root of the right lung.
this is the diaphragm this is diaphragm and the outic opening the ascend, uh, azygous vein ascends upwards and this is the descending thoracic outer and in between there is a istracaile is lower part and thoracic duct above and goes upwards this is the posterior thoracic wall that is enter the superior middle posterior thoracic wall and there actually it is the posterior mediastinum and that is enter vertically in the vertically in the superior mediastinum so in the superior mediastinum it has been uh, vertically located in front of the vertebral column to the level of the fourth thoracic vertebra after that it forward it arch forwards above the hilum of the right lung among terminate in the superior vena cava at the level bony level second costal cartilage what are the structure crossed on the, the right side of uh, azygous vein first is the esophagus trachea and right vagus nerve these are the transverse section this is the azygous vein this is the azygous vein it is crossed esophagus esophagus right vagus nerve trachea these are crossed the superior so this is the superior This is uh, mediastinum. The, 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 the region it is crossed by the trachea, it is crossed by the trachea, esophagus, and right vagus nerve. Right vagus nerve. This is the left vagus, and there is a right vagus. Right vagus. This is the there presents the right vagus, right vagus, esophagus, trachea. This three structure cross. This three structure cross the. This three structure cross the esophagus, uh, thoracic vein at these regions: esophagus, right vagus, trachea. This also the relation, relation anteriorly, anteriorly, right is of the esophagus, posteriorly a thoracic vertebra, intercostal vein, right posterior intercostal vein. To the right, right lung and pleura, and the left thoracic duct, descending thoracic aorta, descending thoracic aorta, and also esophagus. So these are the transverse section. This is the transverse section. This is the azygous vein, right vagus, esophagus, esophagus, and trachea. This is also the upper. Superior mediastinum. So, what are the tributaries of the azygous vein? Formative uh, two veins, right ascending lumbar vein and right subcostal vein, then right posterior intercostal vein, that is from 5th to 11th, and right superior intercostal vein, this vein formed by the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th posterior intercostal vein. Hemiazygous vein at the level of the thoracic 7, hemiazygous vein at the level of the thoracic 8, right bronchial vein, right bronchial vein, esophageal vein, medicinal vein, and pericardial vein. Now the hemiazygous vein. Hemiazygous vein formed by the union of the left lumbar vein and left subcostal vein it enter mediastinum through the left cross of diaphragm should mean, uh, remember it this uh, it enter the mediastinum through the left cross of diaphragm ascend the on the left side at the level of the 8 or 7 it enter to the it turns to the right and combined with the azygous vein. So it is also drained in the, it is drained. This is the hemiazygous vein. This is the hemiazygous vein. It drained to the azygous vein. So formation, formation, left lumbar vein and left subclavian vein. Left lumbar vein, left subcostal vein, left subcostal vein. And as accessory azygous vein, accessory hemiazygous vein, union of the four. 
टू एट इंटरकोस्टल वेन फोर्थ टू एट ऑन द राइट लेफ्ट साइड हाँ वेन इट ड्रेन्स इन टू द जाइगस वेन एट द लेवल ऑफ द थोरासिक थोरासिक सेवेन इट इज थोरासिक सेवेन और टू सेवेन और एट इज द हेमियाजाइगस एंड एक्सेसरी हेमियाजाइगस वेन एंड दिस वेन पोस्टर इंटरकोस्टल वेन इज ऑल्सो I would I would like to discuss here because posterior intercostal vein posterior intercostal vein on the right side the second vein the second the first vein enter in the right brachiocephalic vein and all other vein drain in the azygous vein and on the left side. Upper four enter the left brachiocephalic vein and middle posterior intercostal vein. I would like to describe this vein uh, in these uh, topics because posterior intercostal vein is different on the right and left side. On the right side, the first vein end in the right brachiocephalic vein, but other remaining veins end in the azygous vein. On the left side, the upper four uh, veins, uh, which these veins are drained in the left brachiocephalic vein. Middle four veins unite to form the superior accessory hemizygous vein, and the lower four veins unite and end in the inferior hemizygous vein. Today, these are the end of my class. Thank you all. Allah Hafiz.